the intention of Jason and Lynn Strike. The deceased intention is for our beloved Mary and Carla, and all the souls written in our book of remembrance at the church. If you please stand, we'll pray our prayer to our Lady of Samuel Lynn together. Let's pray for her help and be good stewards of the graces her son has given us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We pray together. Mother most admirable, treasure of all the serenity. We love her for the light of her lowered eyes, for the peace radiating from her countenance, for her holy which reveals her inner full secrets. She is the virgin of the visible and of the essential. We ask her to detach us from the visible, to lead us on, to fix our gaze on the invisible, which her eyes have fixed. Invisible presence, invisible life, invisible action, and invisible love. In the midst of non-essentials, she might and often be godless, may she give us the right understanding of the essential and the hunger for it. And the Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth with great joy in your heart to celebrate this first Friday Mass. St. Patrick, the Lady Most Admirable, the Good St. Joseph. Forsake me not, Lord my God, be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord, my strong salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. Anytime we come across those quirky characters in sacred scripture, especially in our Lord's parables, our Lord is talking about us. The dishonest steward, he had everything. A good job, power, and wealth, and food, clothing, shelter. Most of all, he had his master's love and his master's trust. Let's call to mind our sins. The times that we have had the master's love and trust and then squandered his good gifts that he's given to us. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you lead us into your Father's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift you're faithful, Offer you right and praiseworthy service. Grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I myself am convinced about you, my brothers and sisters, that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, and able to admonish one another. But I have written to you rather boldly, in some respects, to remind you, because of the grace given to me by God, to be a minister of Christ Jesus to the Gentiles, in performing the priestly service 
of the gospel of God, so that the offering up of the Gentiles may be acceptable, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In Christ Jesus, then, I have reason to boast in what pertains to God. For I will not dare to speak of anything except what Christ has accomplished through me. To lead the Gentiles to obedience by word and deed, by the power of signs and wonders, by the power of the Holy Spirit of God, so that from Jerusalem all the way around to Ethereum, I have finished preaching the gospel of Christ. And thus I aspire to proclaim the gospel, not where Christ has already been named, so that I do not build on another's foundation, but as it is written, those who have been told of him shall see, and those who have never heard of him shall understand. The word of the Lord. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. I shall do 
so that when I'm removed from the stewardship, they may welcome me into their homes. Remember how hard it is, Jesus said, for the rich to enter into his father's house. That it won't be by our wealth that we get into heaven. Well, the steward in our parable, he's been pilfering his master's property. But even by doing this, he won't have enough money to live on his own. Once his stewardship is taken away from him, his position in the household, he'll be out on the street. And he says it himself. He's not strong enough to care for himself. So what is the plan that he hits on? To get in good with his master's debtors so that they will take him into their homes when his master dismisses them. The reason the master commends this dishonest man at the end of the parable is because the steward finally got it. That life is not about money. It's not about possessions. No. What is life about? Relationships. Especially your relationship with your master. Finally, the steward was concerned about his relationship with others. Albeit, it's not his relationship with his master he's concerned about, but at least he was concerned about his relationship with others. And that's the point of the parable. Jesus is trying to teach us to focus on our relationships with one another, but most of all, on our relationship with his heavenly Father. Even money or following the letter of the law, even these things are not important. What is important is focusing on the relationship that will bring us to eternal life. Jesus saw that there were two types of children. Children of this world, children of the light. But how much smarter are the children of the world that they will stop at nothing to get in good with others. They will even steal and break the law to be in good, to be in good stead with others. But the children of light, that's you and I. Remember your baptism? Remember God Father lit your baptismal candle from the light of Christ. Easter candle. You and I, by baptism, we are the children of light. People who are supposed to be putting God first in all things. And yet we will use money or rules or even our relationship with those that we love. We will put these things before our relationship with God himself. And we will miss out on eternal glory. You know, the irony in the parable is that the steward has it good in his master's house. A roof over his head, a job, money, security, even the trust and the love of his master. All the things he could possibly where he is. And yet he squandered all that his master had given him. He was already in good relationship with the master, just as you and I, already in good with God because of our baptism, because of our last confession, because of the Eucharistic food that we eat every day. Heaven has already been given to you and I at our baptisms. We need only to love the one who gave us eternal life. We need only to deepen our relationship with God with each passing day. And 
everything is ours. Everything. Don't let money or possessions or popularity or even relationships with others to get in your way of the romantic dinner with the master's son. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Start the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work with human hands, it will become our spiritual bread. Pray, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, far greater than the good of all his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is 
praise to the bread and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and true God, through Christ our Lord. In Him, the hope of blessed resurrection is dawn, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. Sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and David our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who die in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so whoever feeds on me shall have life because of me, says the Lord. Now a prayer of spiritual communion prayer for one of the souls, especially in purgatory. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since other people dear to me, and I now receive you sacramentally. I ask you to come and be spiritually into their hearts. So you are already in our hearts. Help us to embrace you and unite ourselves fully to you. Permit not that we should never be separated from you.
Christ given. My Jesus, I love and adore you. You have come to me. I want you. I want you to remain with me forever, this life and in the next. Thank you for allowing me to share your divine life. May I become more like you through this sacred food. And let me never take you for granted, but always pray for those whose lives are dark with sin, ignorance, and selfishness. Let me remember the words of St. Paul, that they are but for the grace of God. Each day I can become more like you, O oh Lord, and each day I can pray for those who never heard of your presence in the Eucharist, or who have heard it and rejected it. And let us pray. May the working of your power, O oh Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that, renewed by these heavenly mysteries, these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise, through Christ our Lord. Father, I offer the body and blood, soul and divinity of your 
dearly loved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, atoning for our sins, the sins of the whole world, for the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, for the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, for the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, for the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, for the sake of the sorrowful passion. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord. Jesus Christ, the tone of our sins and the sins of the whole world, for the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord. Jesus Christ. And the for our sins, and the sins of the Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, for the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us, O Lord. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, 
Have mercy on us and on the world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the world. Jesus, King of Mercy, Jesus, King of Mercy, Jesus, King of Mercy, let us pray. Eternal God, whose mercy is endless and the treasure of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us. That in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. 